Okay, so this is the Malaguena, taken from Frederick Lord's book, Solo Guitar Playing Volume 1, page 57, if you have the notation, uh, or you can just learn it by sight, which is how it's traditionally done from Malaguena. So Malaguena is a type of dance, Malaga, it's quite famous for Tarregas. Um, but this is a simplified version for beginners. Okay. So we start with the Ayudado technique. Uh, I spoke about this in a previous video on Asturias, or Spanish study as it's called in this book. Uh, the Ayudado technique is a thumb index generally in flamenco, but in, in this book it says to use thumb middles, so that's what we're going to do. And the Ayudado technique is to help along. So we have this pedal thumb on the first string. That's your right hand movement <coughs> for the melodic part. So the first section we have an A major chord. So we're going to put our second finger on the E, the second fret of the fourth string. First finger on the first fret of the G, G sharp. And what we do is, when we're looking at the score, we can ignore the E's because we know that they're in between each note, okay? So we just let our eye follow the E, G sharp, A, E, G sharp. So, if you don't have the score, let me explain. So we're going to keep those fingers in position. Keep a curve, put them flat, because they're going to get in the way. Just keep a curve, bring the thumb down. You see, don't let the thumb go too high. Bring the thumb down. Try not to over curve the wrist. Just let it be natural. Alright? <coughs> okay. So the thumb starts on the four, the middle's always on the one. So we go four, three, two. Four, Take that shape and we're just going to drop it to the third string and the first string. Okay, then we go three, two, lift the first finger off, open two, three, lift the second finger off, third fret on the fourth string, and that's what we do. Okay, so we'll go back to the E, drop. Six, three, two, one, and we play one, two, three. Okay, and six again with the thumb. E, D, which is the third fret on the second string, and E with the F, first fret on the third string. E, fourth finger this time on the D, because we need our third finger free to go into the C shape. So that's the third finger on the fifth string, third fret. We don't need this, but we might as well just... Oh no, we do need that, so we'll leave that on. So it's the second finger on the uh, second fret of the fourth string, first finger on the first fret of the second string, because it's a C chord. Then we play five and two together. Four, three, four, sorry, five, four, three, two, in that shape. Now we're gonna keep that third finger on, because it needs to sustain, it's a, it's a dotted minute, so we'll play it again, five, First on the second, lift, okay, and then fourth on the third fret of the second, first on the second, lift, and the third finger is going to go to the fourth string, third fret, second finger, second string, so, so third string, second fret, and play it again, four and three. Keep the third finger in position, play it again, open second, first fret on the, on the second, Third fret on the second with the fourth string, play with the fourth string open. Open A. Second string again. Now we're going to take the fingers off, we're going to play the third string with our thumb. First fret on the first string. Lift. Third fret on the second with the fourth, and then back to the C shape. Four, three, five, and two. Little finger, fourth finger on the third fret of the second string. Open A. The third finger goes to the F again, the third fret on the fourth string. Then we play the uh, F on the first string, the first fret on the first string. G, the fourth finger on the third fret of the first string. Lift, F again, and play them again. And then we open, one, three, one, and then the six and the one open together.
So let me just show you that middle section again. So we start from the E. Make sure that you, you sustain the lower notes for each of the bars, and this is uh, to promote your finger independence. Okay, there's a, a number of exercises we do for finger independence, but this is a good one just to sustain the. <coughs> this generally the third finger, right? Yeah, on the lower notes, either open or third finger on the C or the F. Make sure they stay in position for the full bar, so that you get. get the Too short, so. so no, it sounds, sounds a bit strange, okay? So make sure you sustain those dotted minimums in the score. Another thing you could try is the double E instead of just the one E. You go. That's the index middle, it says. Three. That's flamenco there, that's a four. So, a number of things you could try. Give it a go.